What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and good morning. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Nervos network, uh, which I haven't covered in quite some time. Uh, abbreviation is CKB. Uh, the main reason why I'm covering it is because it was pretty bullish. It's, it's dropping right now, but uh, yesterday and today it was very bullish. Uh, volume has gone up by 4,400%. Uh, uh, <laughs> It's now at 64 million compared to the market cap that's great it's it's still i mean nerves network is a is a project with a lot of potential it's still very active it's being developed um so yeah that's it if you're new to this channel first of all welcome second of all basically the main thing i do in these videos is i um take a look at the price mostly right just taking a look at what's going on and what is possible can we get higher like this or is it more likely that we'll drop down to this um, but apart from that, we also talk about some news and, and also what caused this move, right? Because Nervous Network, they're, they're doing some great things right now with some layer two solutions on Nervous Network. That's great. There, there's a lot of positive news coming around <clears throat> the network. But apart from that, um, one of the main reasons, one of the big reasons behind this move, in my opinion, is also the Ethereum merge. Um, and I think some of you immediately think, yeah, of course it's, it's that. And other people might think like, well, why would the Ethereum merge matter? Uh, the thing is, so I'm going to explain it very briefly. Uh, Ethereum merge, Ethereum used to be proof of work. You have a lot of miners with mining equipment, mining Ethereum. It's going to proof of stake. You don't need that mining equipment anymore. You just need to have some Ethereum and you need to run a program. Uh, so those miners with all that mining equipment would either sell their mining equipment or they're going to mine another cryptocurrency, another proof of work cryptocurrency. Uh, and you have some choices. You have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum Classic, but you also have the Nervous Network, which is also a proof of work token. Uh, so that's also what we've seen throughout the last couple of days. Ravencoin, also proof of work, has been pretty bullish over the last month, as you can see. Uh, uh, the nervous network a little bit less so, but maybe it, it's, it's just lagging behind and it's a little bit later and we're having it right now. I think that's my, one of the main cataclysts behind this move. Uh, that move brought us up to this level here between 0 0.5, 0 0.55 cents, uh, a very strong resistance level. As you can see, we didn't even manage to break above 0 0.5 cents, which is half a cent. Um, just a very strong psychological resistance level. You can see that we found resistance at 0 0.5 cents, but also at 0 0.55 cents. Quite a lot over the last couple of months. So uh, maybe we actually had some chance of breaking through that. Uh, but yesterday, yesterday we also got some higher than expected inflation rate numbers. So the fundamentals and the momentum in the market right now is just just more bearish than bullish right so i don't think we're going to do something like this i mean in in, in some sort of a miracle right if, if ckb has some sort of a, a manipulation move the thing to look out for if you really want to have some sort of a rally with ckb is breaking above 0 0.55 cents if we can break above that even on the one hour time frame uh, we're probably going up to uh, 0 0.65 and 0 0.7 cents all right uh, that is possible I just don't think it's likely because you would need a, a big fundamental cataclyst for that or some manipulation. Um, and I think it's it, that's not happening in these current market circumstances. I think it's more likely that after finding resistance at 0 0.55 cents uh, twice, I think it's more likely that the bullish momentum is now kind of out, out of the price and that will slowly start to drop down to 0 0.42, <clears throat> 0 0.41 cents. And then from here, uh, which we will reach probably today or early tomorrow. And when the merge actually concludes, we might actually have, have a second rally. I think we'll actually have a second rally. I just don't think we're going to break above that level again. I, I don't think the market circumstances are, are that great. So I, I just think we'll reach that again and then start dropping down again. So uh, yeah, unfortunately that's, that's the case, at least in my analysis. I mean, obviously you can have a different opinion or analysis, uh, but this is my analysis and it's up to you whether you believe me or whether you think that uh, what I say makes some sense. So I want to thank you all for watching and listening. That was the analysis. If you do have any questions yeah, uh, left, please uh, let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. Uh, have a great day and I hope to see you all in my next videos, of course. Bye.